I will explain the manual setting procedure in Protocol Studio. The sample case is communication with the device supporting this format. In the device used as an example, the header is specified first. The content of the header is the STX control code. Next, the station number is specified. Then, two data values called data1 and data2 are specified. Between the values, a comma is used. There is a check code, not a comma, after the second data value. The check code is a value calculated for the data up to the second data in the station number or later. At the end, the CRLF control code is a separator. Now, I'll make a send command for a device with this data format. First, double click Protocol Studio. This time, select Manual Setting. Enter the text for the maker and the comment. Enter an IP address and a port number of the device to communicate. Click OK. After clicking OK, select whether the default frame is set. The default frame is the data preliminarily set when the settings screen of Protocol Studio is opened. When creating several communication commands, there are cases which the header and the delimiter are the same in all commands. In that case, Setting the common data as a default frame omits the header and delimiter settings for each command. In this video, I will create only one command as an example. The default frame setting will not be performed. Let's create a new command from the pull down menu. Enter a command name here. Select cyclic or event. In addition, settings related to the communication can be set here, such as send and receive, send only, receive only, etc. In this video, I will continue the setting with the default setting. First, let's set the header. From the pull down menu, select header. Selecting is available from selecting, control code or directly entering, ASCII or, binary. For example, if, ASCII is selected, directly entering the text using the keyboard is available. Or when this icon is clicked, a keyboard opens for directly entering the text. For this example, the control code called STX is used. So I will select control code from this pull down menu and STX from this pull down menu. Then I'll click OK. Now, the station number is set. From the pull down menu, select station number. In this movie, all settings will be performed with ASCII. So the reception count of ASCII is selected. Constant or variable can be selected for this specified method. If variable is set, the device is set like this, and the transmitted data can be changed according to the device value. For example, the station number is set for this time. If the station number is always 1, 1 can be set as a constant. However, if this is a device where a station number other than 1 is set, communication becomes unavailable. In that case, set variable for specified method and store the station number to communicate with this device. Then, devices with various station numbers can be supported. Click OK. Now, let's set data 1 and data 2 sections. From the pull down menu, select data. Then, select the data type to be added. Select ASCII or binary and variable or constant. Difference between constant and variable is as explained before. For this example, 
the section corresponding to data one should be able to change from a device. So select variable. Next, I will explain about ASCII and binary. In Protocol Studio, the unit automatically converts ASCII and binary. Let's think about the case when binary is selected in Protocol Studio and 123 is stored in the variable device. When binary is selected, the sending data should be binary data 123. When ASCII is selected in Protocol Studio, the unit automatically converts the string 123 to 313233, the hexadecimal ASCII data string, and sends. Normally, a ladder program to convert binary to ASCII is required. In Protocol Studio, all conversions from binary to ASCII are conducted by the communications unit. This time, I want to convert the value stored in the device to ASCII and send. So I select this ASCII variable. During the setting, see the manual of the device to send the data. In this time, select signed and select 34 digit numbers such as for plus 38. Digit character is the setting to specify the character to fill the digit when the number of digits is short of the set digit number. For example, when 38 is sent while 3 digits is set. You can select 0 or space. I'll select 0 this time. Check this preview and confirm that the data corresponds to the data format to be sent. Click OK. Next is a comma after data 1. A comma is a fixed string, so ASCII constant is selected. Directly input a comma from the keyboard and click OK. Now, let's set data to section. Select ASCII variable as the previous section. The setting is signed with three digits constant in the same way as the previous setting. Now, I'll explain send type. For send type, send fixed number or send variable number can be selected. In this example, the number of data is set to 2 for data 1 and data 2. Some communication devices do not have a constant number of data. For example, in case of a robot, the number of data may vary depending on the number of axes such as a 4-axis type and 6-axis type. In such case, select Send Variable Number. When Send Variable Number is selected, New Setting Items, Maximum Data Number and Send Data Number device are displayed. I will explain these settings. As shown now, when Send Variable Number is selected, entering a value to Maximum data number becomes available. Then, send data number device is newly added. Send data number is the number of data to be sent. For example, if sending 4 data, enter 4 for this device. If sending 6 data, enter 6. Maximum data number is the maximum number of data to be sent. The occupying device is decided according to the set value. In this sample, 16 is set to maximum data number. Therefore, 16 words from the leading device are occupied. As explained before, the actual number of sent data is decided according to the number stored in this device. For example, if 9 is stored, only data for 9 words from the leading device are sent. Succeeding data will be ignored. In addition, this setting can set separator between data. If comma is specified, a comma is automatically inserted between data. In addition, when this option is selected with a check mark, a separator is not inserted after the last data. This time, I will set only the data for one word which corresponds to data 2. So, Send fixed number is set, and signed in three digits constant are set. Click OK. Then, the check code setting is performed. From the pull-down menu, I will select Check Code. 
the check code is automatically calculated by Protocol Studio. Therefore, there is no program to calculate the check code. For the check code, a basic calculation method like this is provided. Check the manual of the connecting device and select the supported calculation method. For this time, ASCII is selected for type and 2 byte is selected for size. For start element number and end element number, the range included in the calculation for the check code is specified. This time, the calculation range will be from number 2, station number to number 5, data 2. Therefore, set 2 to start element number and set 5 to end element number. Then click OK. The last one is a separator. From the pull down menu, select separator. The setting method is the same as header. Here, select the control code CR plus LF and click OK. The send command setting is completed. Reception can be set on this tab. The setting procedure is the same as the send command, so I will omit the explanation.